Welcome to the Jet Set Therapy channel where a little awareness goes a long way. My name is Jed Thorpe, licensed therapist. Today we're going to dive into the emotional resilience topic and spoiler alerts. This isn't a talent. No one's born with emotional resilience. This is something we learn. This is something we grow like a muscle. So stay tuned. I think you're going to dig this. All right. Welcome back. I'm glad you're here. Now, without further ado, let's get into this. Emotional resilience is more than just everyday regulation of emotion. And for those of you who want videos, check out number 191 called Anxiety Relief, or there's another one called Deep Breathing or 4x4 four four Breathing, video number 123. Also, emotional resilience isn't about being numb to emotion or even being emotionally tough. It's more than that. When you think emotional resilience, think of the words bounce back. Life has a lot of game-like qualities. Emotional resilience relates to your ability to get back into the game when life throws you uh, some big swing. So here's three, maybe four major areas where I see some pretty big swings that life gives us. Let's go over them. Life swing number one has got to be failure or rejection. People tend to take it badly when they don't get what they want, particularly when it's something they really want or something they think they really need. Being rejected in a friendship, losing a job, uh, unthinkable election results. Side note, if you want to see a great video on how to never be a failure, check out my video number 164 called Fail to the Fail, Fail, Fail. <laughs> Next on the list would be big life transitions. Turns out people would prefer to not be uncomfortable. So when big life transitions occur, it can really trip us up. We're talking things like getting married or getting divorced or having kids, or graduating from high school or college, or moving out of the house, uh, getting into a career, moving somewhere, or even retiring. Basically, times in life where we're experiencing big changes. The third area where emotional resilience comes in handy is with interpersonal conflict. Hey, <laughs> at some point, every relationship has ups and downs. Building emotional resilience is going to help us to bounce back from the downs without getting stuck. Now that we know what to look for, let's get into how we can, you know, build that bounce back muscle. Remember, this is an intrinsic. It's not something we're wired with. This is something that we develop over time. So here are some quick ways just to develop the bounce back ability and get back into the game. Number one, and this really, this is really a good one thought adjustment. Yes, the situation sucks, but I wonder how it's going to make me stronger. I wonder where or how or in what ways I'm going to grow positively because of what's going on right now. Number two, it's good to remind yourself that the emotion you're experiencing and feeling isn't permanent. We get overwhelmed because our brains interpret whatever we're going through as never ending. It's a nasty trick because we know that hard times will pass, just like a bad storm always passes. Just like that, this feeling's not going to last forever. The last thing that'll help get through the knockdowns that life throws us is to remember past wins. Odds are 100% that you've been through worse before. I bet being birthed was pretty wild, and you handled that, so you can handle this too. You've done hard things in the past, you will get through it just like you got through that. What if the bad things that are happening are actually good for us? We just need to figure out how. Listen, with every experience, your emotional resilience or your balance back ability, your muscle around that is going to get stronger and stronger. And with that, this video on emotional resilience, aka bounce back, is over. I hope it gives you some good tools. Maybe this will help when things in your life get tough. Remember, when that happens, you've got this. And until next time, awareness up.